When you put money into a savings account or into insurance policies or stocks or bonds, you expect a return on your investment. And when you put time and effort into the sale of a Cadillac, you expect a return on that investment. The immediate return, of course, is in the form of a commission if you close the sale. But there can be many happy returns beyond the commission. We're going to talk about them in this film. When you think about it, you realize that with each sale, you've invested in a very real sense in what ought to be growth stock. The only thing is, it's up to you to make it grow. If you don't, there may still be a return, though not a particularly happy one. It could be, for example, a great big unpleasant customer complaint resulting from something not being handled just right, particularly at the time of new car delivery. This can happen because you're under pressure and don't have time to cover everything, or because your owner is in a hurry and won't take the time to listen to everything you want to tell him. Regardless of why it happens, unsatisfactory delivery procedure can boomerang, and the results can be very painful. An example is the customer who thinks some unexpected and expensive service is covered by warranty and finds out that it isn't. Just as bad, and in the long run even worse, is failure to follow up new owners adequately. Far too often this means no follow-up at all, and it can result, among other things, in a tapering off, maybe even termination, of his service business. It also cuts you off from referrals. It also throws your new owner's next new car order up for grabs. So how about it? Have you been on the receiving end of any boomerangs lately? Or have you been receiving many happy returns in the form of satisfied service customers, referrals, and repeat sales? Perhaps you've had owner complaints. Perhaps you're not getting as many repeat sales and referrals as you should, in spite of hard prospecting and hard selling. If so, you'll be interested in what other salesmen are doing to make prospecting and selling easier and more profitable for themselves. If you are getting your share of repeats and referrals, it's a pretty sure bet that you've been taking positive and effective action in making your new car deliveries and in following up your owners. In any case, it can be very profitable to see what other Cadillac salesmen are doing to establish and to build the kind of owner relationships that lead to owner satisfaction, owner loyalty, and additional sales opportunities. To see what can be done to get the kind of results we've been talking about, we'll ask you to step into the salesman's shoes. To begin with, you've kept in close touch with the service department. You've established a good cooperative working relationship with the service people because you know you can help them and they can help you. With this good arrangement, you've been able to make sure the new owner's car will be ready when it was promised. That's why you're safe in calling him now. What's more, you have seen to it that the paperwork is all in order. There'll be no delay there. So the next thing you do is personally check over the car. The service manager or some other responsible service representative checks it with you. Between you, you make sure everything is right. When your owner arrives, you introduce him to the service manager, if that's convenient. If it's not, it can be your dealer or your owner relations manager. Whoever it is, the presence of someone in management will make him feel that he's important and welcome, as in fact he is, and you want to keep him feeling that way. If it's convenient for him after the paperwork is out of the way, you take a short drive and show him again how everything operates, including the options. Then you explain the benefits of his owner protection policy and warranty, taking care to spell out his own responsibilities as well as those of the dealership. His understanding of his responsibilities is the only protection there can be from boomerangs. You present his keys and the key case or rings. You thank him and tell him you will keep in touch. Incidentally, there is another important advantage to you in taking time for proper delivery. This is your first chance to ask for referrals. But you can hardly do that if you've given him a fast brush off. 
But suppose there hasn't been time for all of this, or perhaps any of it. Suppose the new owner is in a hurry and won't take time to listen. In that case, you make a date to call on him at home at his earliest convenience. You fill him in on everything that was missed at delivery time. If it's the owner protection policy and warranty, you cover those very thoroughly. Or, if he didn't take time to wait for any part of the delivery procedure, you cover all the bases with him, including the demonstration. You make sure he understands how everything works, including new or modified power options with which he may not be entirely familiar, in order that he may completely enjoy his new Cadillac. If you don't, you can be certain your competition won't do it for you. The less your owner understands and appreciates his new Cadillac, the better position they'll be in a year or two from now to sell him what they have to offer. Naturally, at your new owner's home, you won't be able to make him acquainted with your service manager or the service department's facilities. But you can and should tell him the service manager's name and emphasize the fine service the new owner will receive at your dealership. In short, at the dealership or at his home, make sure you give your new owner the full new car delivery treatment. Then you follow up. You sit down within a week and make a phone call to make sure all is well with your new owner and his new car. And then after your phone call, you send along a card or a letter assuring him of your continued interest and of your desire to be of service in any possible way. Periodically, you write again, and another phone call may be in order. Eventually, you make a personal call. You do it by appointment, and you ask for a referral. In the months that follow, you meet and talk with him in the service department because you've planned it and timed it that way, and you ask for a referral. Finally, next year, you ask for his order for another Cadillac. Do you think you'll get it? As a matter of fact, wouldn't you be surprised if you didn't? New car delivery and owner follow-up. Properly handled as part of your regular work schedule, they are your foundation stones in the building and maintenance of a clientele of owners. And in turn, an established clientele of owners is the foundation of above-average financial success for you, year after year. With your clientele, repeat sales and referrals provide a constant source of prospects, almost automatically, but not quite automatically. There is work involved, work which includes, very importantly, your new car delivery and follow-up procedures. You've just seen some steps which many successful salesmen consider essential. Perhaps your own procedure is similar. Perhaps it varies on some points. The important thing is to have a plan and follow it, conscientiously and consistently. It will take time and work, but after a while you'll find that it is working for you as your clientele grows. It will, in short, eliminate unpleasant boomerangs and lead instead to many happy returns on all the time and effort you put in every day and quite a few evenings selling Cadillac.